G'day everybody, thank you for tuning back into Aldris Barbecue. Over Christmas, I smoked myself a beautiful pork tenderloin. It was absolutely delicious. And it left me thinking, I've got to do something with pork tenderloin again. So today, I've got myself a Vietnamese salad with a pork tenderloin, and we're gonna be making this into a bit of an Asian themed pork tenderloin. So stick around. We're gonna be making our own rub for these pork tenderloins today. We have some granulated honey, black pepper, pink Himalayan salt, smoked paprika, we have granulated garlic and lemon pepper. We've got one teaspoon of each. Originally, I only gave half a teaspoon for paprika, but as you can see, I wanted a little bit more color, so I threw in just a little bit more to make sure that there are even parts. Pork tenderloins, super cheap, super tasty, and super easy. Everybody who I've met, whenever I've cooked these pork tenderloins, they've said how tasty they are. Never do I have any pork tenderloin left whenever I attend a family barbecue. They are also super easy to prepare. Majority of the time, there's just a little bit of silver skin. Every now and again, you get a little bit of fat that you just need to trim, but you just wanna work away at that silver skin because it's not gonna render in the cook given how quick these things actually cook. Very simply, just throw that rub all over the pork tenderloin. Make sure you pat that rub in and also roll your tenderloins across the board to pick up any excess rub. That's it for the prep for these tenderloins. Let's fire up the smoker. So I'm actually cooking this for a family event today. I'm gonna to be cooking it on my pellet grill, just for simplicity. And we're gonna go real low and slow to start with, then crank it up at the end just to finish it off. I'm using some cherry pellets today and super low, 82 degrees centigrade, otherwise about 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's throw these into the smoker. I wanna get plenty of smoke throughout these tenderloins before I increase the temperature. I'm now turning my attention to the honey soy glaze that I'm gonna be using for these pork tenderloins. All of the ingredients are gonna be in the description of this video, but we've got four teaspoons of sesame oil, four tablespoons of minced garlic, half a cup of soy sauce, six tablespoons of honey, six tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of oyster sauce, and then lastly, a couple of tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Give this glaze a stir, let it come to the boil, and then take it off the heat. 30 minutes into the cook, a quick check on our pork tenderloins. We're getting some smoke color. I'm just gonna spray with a little bit of water to keep them nice and moist. We'll also increase that temperature now to 107 Celsius or 225 Fahrenheit. Now let's make our salad. So we've got ourselves here a few ingredients. This is for the dressing. We've got one cayenne red pepper, a quarter cup of fish sauce, a quarter cup of sugar. We've got a third of a cup of water, two tablespoons of lime juice, two teaspoons of rice wine vinegar, and we've got one minced garlic tablespoon there. So just mix those together. We're gonna check in our pork tenderloins again. I'm sitting at 120 degrees, so time to glaze these. Nothing difficult here. Just make sure you get good coverage across all of your pork tenderloins. Then we have this awesome Vietnamese salad. It's a little bit of prep work, but it's well worth it. We've got some vermicelli noodles. We've got about three cups of cucumber, three cups of carrot. We've got some basil, mint, coriander, how much you want is up to you pending your preference. And then I've also got three chopped, de-seeded jalapenos. I've obviously made quite a big salad here because I'm catering for a few people at our family event. If you wanna reduce the size of your salad, just cut everything by half, up to you. But just throw those ingredients together in a bowl, give them a good mix, and then pour that beautiful dressing all over the top. For better presentation, shift that across to a salad bowl. That on its own is absolutely delicious. 
We're aiming to get these pork tenderloins to about 145 degrees Fahrenheit today. I've hit my temperature, so time to pull them off. It's always best to let your meat rest. I didn't have time for that today though, so I went straight in and sliced up these tenderloins. Once they're sliced, place them on top of your Vietnamese salad. As I was slicing this up, it was super tender. I was happy with the color. It looked absolutely tremendous. Here we have a combination of flavor and color that's going to mix incredibly well. Okay, so here we have our Vietnamese salad with an Asian themed pork tenderloin. The smells coming from it is absolutely tremendous. It looks amazing. What a great feast for our family to get together a bit later on. But before we go, I want to give it the all important taste test. So, let's grab a little bit of salad, a little bit of pork. Oh, that complements each other so well. Slightly different flavors. So I shouldn't eat with my mouth full, as my mum always told me. But that is absolutely brilliant. I've taken to about 145 internal, so it's a bit more on the medium kind of side when it comes to pork. That's mainly because that's how my wife and the rest of the family like it. Perfectly safe if you put it off at 135. But this is delicious. I'm going to wrap it up, go and spend some time with the family. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again in the next one. Well, what a success. Everybody loved this salad. I'm even going to be catering at an upcoming event and I was asked to make these into some small cups for everybody to enjoy. Absolute winner. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you again soon.